In this session, we will build on our understanding of the modern day trading pit or depth window. We will become part of the price determination process and place a trade. Before we go back to the trading pit for BHP on the ASX, we have to introduce two new windows. This means we will need to navigate the platform. All windows required to help you customize your workspace in the MDI mode can be launched from the top left section of the browser. There will be more on this later. Firstly, we need the portfolio window. We find this by going to the orders menu and selecting portfolio. We'll then need to resize this window so we can see all the information necessary for trading. Ensure that you're on the CFD tab and then select the active account that you'd want to use. The next window we need to use is the order pad. Again, we resize this so we can see the information that we require. Most of the functionality on the platform can be accessed by right clicking in a particular area. So to illustrate this, let's go ahead and place a trade. Say for example, we want to go long BHP. We simply right click on the buy side at the price where we want to place the order. So in this case, we will place the order at 31.37. When we right click, a menu comes up of possible options. We simply select create buy order. We can see that this will then populate the ticket with the stock, the price that we specified, and all we need to do is put the volume. It's important to know the exposure that you are, t you are taking and also the margin that you will require. So in this case, the total exposure to BHP will be $313.70 and the margin required will be $15.68 which is 5% of the value. Once you hit OK you will see the order come up in the order pad once you've confirmed it. So we see how quickly that comes up in the order pad and then we can also see that it's put a BHP line item in our securities because it's something we're actively looking at in this session. Now it is very important to be able to distinguish between an order that is working in the market and one that has been filled. The current order is working and we can tell this by the fact that there is a volume in the in market volume heading. We can also see the order price that we specified. To confirm this we come over to the portfolio and we can see that the actual volume is zero meaning that we have no positions. Uh, in, in the current uh, security that's specified there. So let's amend the order as we are now happy to pay any price for BHP we just want to get some. We go to the order pad and select the order that we want to amend. Again we right click and select amend order. We will then select the advance tab next to the price uh, to specify to specify that we would like to take the order at market. We then simply hit amend and what I want you to do is to keep an eye on the order pad and also the portfolio windows in the headings that we discussed because the at market function price type will simply look for the best seller to match us up with. So once we hit OK be sure to have a look at the order pad and also the portfolio window. So firstly we see in the order pad that we changed our order price to market. It now says instead of in market volume, done volume today and tells us the price at which we got filled. So if it says done volume we know we were filled. Also see now in the portfolio window that the actual volume says 10 which confirms that we are holding a CFD over 10 BHP. So this is what a filled order looks like. Now that we know how to place a buy order we will also need to know how to place a sell order or how to close out a position. Again, the best way to do this is to right click on an area where we have the most information. So a good example would be the position in our security window of the portfolio section. We then would select sell. Now in this case I'm going to show you the market, uh, the order going into the market. So we're going to place the sell at 31.56. Uh, and that'll see the 10. We simply hit sell 
and then confirm that order. Just want you to have a look between 3155 and 3157 and you'll see our order for 10 go in there. So we really are interacting with the market. Now again, we want to sell that position. We really don't care what price. Uh, so we go to our order pad, highlight the order that we want to uh, adjust, which is the only active order. We then hit amend order, go to advance, and bring that to market to limit, which will effectively look for the best buyer to match up with our sell. Hit amend, and then confirm that order. We'll see the changes go through. So we can see done volume buy and sell. They're both inactive now because they've been completed and we see that we have no volume in our portfolio window. Another big, big pointer here is there's no initial margin being used, meaning that we have no active positions in the market or positions that are open.